In this episode, we're going to be talking about social media investors and how you can go and find lots of money to build your own property business. In this episode, hey, we're going to be talking about social media, raising joint venture funding, and how you can get started in property. So my name's Liam Ryan, and I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life alongside my business partner, Jay Munoz. He's a chartered civil engineer. He's worked on some of the biggest builds in London, and we are now professional property investors. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe and the notification bell, and please hit the like button immediately. That would be really, really cool. Now, Gary Brook, he has sent us in a question and the question is, Liam, do I focus on building my brand on social media before I start finding investors? And look, that is a fantastic question, Gary. Now, ultimately, you've got to remember that investors are everywhere. Like they're literally everywhere. And there really isn't a shortage of money. There's trillions and trillions and trillions of pounds in the world. So where are these investors? Well, I'm here to tell you they are, like I said, everywhere. They're in supermarkets, they're on the train, they're on the planes, they're in your gym, they're in your golf club, in your spa resort. They are friends and family members. They are in your phone book. You'll find them at investor meetings. You'll find them at networking meetings. You'll find them in your office, people you work with, friends, family members. So the, the important thing is that you position yourself correctly through your business. So what's really important to start building your brand before you even go out to investors is to make sure that you've got the following. So you're going to want to write this stuff down. You want to make sure that you've got your website. And your website doesn't have to be anything, you know, outstanding. It can be really simple. It can look really nice. You can get this done really cheaply. And it can just be literally a two or three page website with your unique selling points, talking about who you are, what you do, the services you provide. But when you've got the website, you're going to look and feel really professional. Along with your website, you're going to need to make sure you've got your business card. That's really important. And you can go on Vistaprint and you can get like a million business cards, something like that printed for just a couple of quid. You then want to make sure you've got some form of a company brochure and you can just download that from your website. It could be a shorter version of your website. You also then want to make sure that you are positioned on social media. Everyone now is on social media. You, you know, the way we communicate with people is so different for five, ten years ago. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of people that follow me through my social media platforms. And would you, can you believe this? Four years ago, I didn't have a Facebook account. I hated Facebook. I hated social media. But the truth is, I didn't understand it. I certainly didn't understand how to use social media to make money. So you at least want to make sure that you've got LinkedIn set up and also your company Facebook page on social media. And what my advice is, once you've got your business foundation set up, and you've gone on some advanced training, you've come and spent some time with me at one of my events, you've learned about the strategy that you're focusing on, because you can't do everything in property at once. You need to have a good understanding of what you're gonna to say to the investor, how you're gonna work with the investor, what's your unique selling points, your USPs. And I teach you all this at my event anyway. You can come and we do a deep dive into the entire system, what to say, how to say it. But ultimately, you need to practice talking to investors. And then what I advise is you start putting yourself out there through social media. Start posting once a day. Hey, how long does a post take? It takes less than a minute or maybe a few minutes if you need to get a bit creative. Go and join three or four Facebook groups and make sure if you're watching this now, go on to Facebook and go to www.facebook.com and then search Assets 
for life property community and come and join our wonderful Facebook community. There's lots of free content, there's lots of videos, there's some great connections, you find deals and money in the group. And this is really what raising money is about. It's about networking. It's about building relationships. It's about finding people that have got cash, that don't know what to do with that cash, and then you're gonna give them a solution, you're gonna give them a service. And there's many ways in which you can work with investors. You can offer a complete sourcing solution product, you can offer a buy to sell product, you can offer someone a portfolio builder product, or maybe you're just gonna offer someone a savings accelerator product. That's actually one of my preferred products. It's where an investor will lend me money, for X amount of time, for X interest rate, and at the end of the term, let's just say they've lent me 100 grand, at the end of the year, I'll pay them back 110,000 pounds. But you are gonna build your brand on social media, you're gonna start connecting, you're gonna start giving value, you're gonna start doing some posts, you're gonna start telling the world who you are, what you do. Now let me share this with you, and this is really important. One of my first ever investors was a guy called Phil and his wife called Karen. They were watching me on social media and I was at one of my land development sites in Colchester, Priory Street, where we were building seven flats and two houses and I started to do some videos and my video went something like this. Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Assets for Life. I'm currently on Priory Street, one of our latest land development deals. We're building seven flats and two houses and we've done this project with investors. We work with investors just like you to give you a good return on your investment. Let me share with you now three top tips. So I'm giving value, top tip number one, top tip number two, top tip number three. And if you're watching this video and you've got cash in the bank or you're an investor and you want a better return on your money, send me a DM right now and let's have a conversation. I put the phone back in my pocket. I'm in my hard hat and my high vis jacket. I'm on site with all the builders. A couple of minutes later, I get a ping on my phone. It's Phil from Liverpool. And he said, Liam, I've been watching you. I thought, okay, <laughs> I've got a stalker. He said, I love what you guys do at Assets for Life. I'm an investor, I'd like to have a chat. Now, when this happens to you, and it will happen to you, you stop what you're doing, you pick up the phone, you reply to the message. So I said, Phil, lovely to hear from you. My number is XYZ. Let's chat now, not later, not tonight, not tomorrow. You've got to be pro productive, proactive. So I spoke to Phil, I said, Phil, it's Liam here from Assets for Life. How can I help? Blah, 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 blah. You know, he told me his situation and he said, hey, I really think we can work together. I said, look, Phil, you're in Liverpool, I'm in Essex, but I'm actually talking at a networking event in Telford next week. I said, look, why don't we meet? It's about halfway. He said, brilliant. So I meet him a week later, we meet at the Holiday Inn, and we sit for the whole afternoon. We have lunch, we talk, we chat, we talk about our hobbies, our families, what we're looking to do. And at the end of the meeting, Phil turned around, he said, Liam, he said, I love you guys, I love what you do, you give so much value, can I be an investor? I said, yeah, look, Phil, I definitely feel there's synergy here. Where are you looking at starting? Now that really means how much money have you got? He said, look, I've got 750,000 pounds. He said, my daughter's got 200 and my mate's got 550. They want a fixed rate return. We've reached a point in our lives where we wanna to move to Australia. We just wanna give you the money and we wanna share profits. How amazing is that? Now at that point, ladies and gentlemen, at that point, that was the largest amount of money I had raised from one single investor, one single meeting. What I really wanted to do was like just start jumping around like a kid at, kid at Christmas in a candy store, but you've got to stay calm. Stay calm, be professional. Inside, I was having kittens. I said, Phil, I'm sure there's something we can do. So we move forward to the next stage and 
We set up a company called PK AFL Prop. You can check it out on Companies House. The money came into the company from the investor. We then teamed up with another developer and we used part of that money to do a commercial conversion in Colchester where we converted an office into 16 one bedroom flats. Ever since that day, I have become social media crazy. I am now called Mr. Facebook. I'm all over social media. I post, I produce content all the time. So going back to the question, should you start on social media to find investors? 100%. If you are not on social media, you are not building your brand. You are missing a trick. So get yourself on social media, put yourself out there, don't worry about the haters, don't worry about the trolls, focus on the people that really like you, wanna connect with you, give massive value, and generate yourself a bunch of hot investor leads, follow those investor leads up, and go and raise joint venture finance.